You don't have to wait until heaven to enjoy it. You can enjoy it right here, right now, this very moment, right on earth. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13 says, And now, and now abide faith, hope, and love. Circle that word now and circle that word hope. God's hope is available to us right now, this very moment. See, if you've lost your job, if you're in financial difficulties, if you're going through the worst health problems you've ever had in your life, you can still have hope right now. You don't have to wait until you get to heaven to enjoy that. You can enjoy it right now today. And I want to illustrate that for you by sharing with you something that I think will help you to understand the difference. Well, there it is. It's clinging to the side. Now today I brought with me two balloons that look identical. They're shaped the same. They have the same color. They look identical on the outside. But they're very, very different on the inside. You see, we're like these two balloons. You look at somebody across from you, you look at that person. On the outside, they look like they've got it all together. On the outside, it looks like everything's going for them. On the outside, it looks like, hey, they've got hope. But on the inside, they don't. There are some people in the world who have hope and some people in the world who don't have hope. Will you agree with that? See, the people that don't have hope are kind of like this balloon right here. When problems come into their life, this is what happens. They fall straight to the ground. They collapse under the pressure of the problem because they don't have any hope inside of them. But when you do have hope in you, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what you go through in your life, you can be like this balloon and you can rise above your problems. You see there? Now, that's what God wants us all to have in our life. The kind of hope that will help us to rise above our problems. Now, how do you get that kind of hope into your life? This is how you get it. You get it by doing the exact same thing you just did. When I let loose of the balloon, what did you do? You looked up. I know you were looking at the balloon, but it's the same premise. If you want to have hope in your life, you have to look up, not to a balloon, but to Jesus. You have to look up to Jesus Christ to find your hope. And that's what the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. Do you see that in your notes? Let's read it. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Two words I want you to circle there. I want you to circle the word hope and resurrection. Hope and resurrection. Now look up here. That word hope is found only one time in the New Testament before the resurrection of Jesus Christ. One time. But after Jesus rose from the dead in the New Testament, that word hope is found 70 times. And the only place it's found before the resurrection is in the book of Matthew. So it, it doesn't take a spiritual genius to figure out where hope comes from. It doesn't come before the resurrection. It comes after the resurrection. It comes through the resurrection. It comes because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
Without the resurrection, we would have literally no hope. None whatsoever. Now, of course, the cross is important. Before the resurrection, there had to be the cross. Amen? Without the resur I mean, without the cross, without the death of Jesus Christ, there would be no resurrection. And so hope comes from putting our faith and our trust, looking up to God, believing and trusting in Him. Because He has died for us on the cross, because He rose from the dead, that's where you find hope in life, through Jesus Christ. 